hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is Chris so today I will be showing you guys how I um, make my car air fresheners and how I pack them and I send them to my customers okay so I've told you guys this before that you know car air freshener is one of the product line in my candle business I make scented candles as most of you know and they are killer candles look like this all right and I also make scented uh, melt wax so they come in like this right there but today I will not be talking about candles I'll be talking about car air fresheners as it has been something that um, a lot of people have been buying from my website and also from my um, Amazon handmade um, store if you're selling car air fresheners and you're not on Amazon handmade, you might want to look into that, okay? So today, I already made about two sales and I saw one pending on my Amazon store, which means um, three sales will be coming in this morning. It's not even 11 o'clock yet and I've made almost three sales. I saw almost three sales because one of them is still pending to clear out, okay? so. Um, I have let me just cover this up I have this one to ship out today and I have this one also packaged and ready to go all right it's ready to go and um, I'll be making the other one so today I'm going to show you guys how I make um, a single car air freshener and also I'm going to show you guys how I make uh, a bulk car air freshener because some people have had the issues of what am I mixing, how am I mixing it, what are the procedures, am I um, screen printing stuff on, on my own, am I heat transferring stuff on my own, am I sublimating images on my cardstock. All those stuff I'm going to try and answer today so you guys see how easy the method I'm using is very effective okay so you guys can see how i'm making my own car air freshener it doesn't give me any problems at all when i so when i say it doesn't give me any problems it doesn't give me any um, issues whatsoever like i'm not stressed out making my car air fresheners i am not bugged up making my car air fresheners i'm not um too overwhelmed making my car air fresheners because everything has been done everything has been pre-done for me all i have to do is just add my um my fragrance oil and my mix of dpg and then i send it to my customers a lot of people are having issues with sublimation they're having issues with uh, ink running um through when they put their frag uh, fragrance oil on their cardstock and for me i don't have any of that issue and i'm going to show you guys how i do mine and i'm going to show you guys exactly how you can get yours professionally done at the end of this video so stick to this video and stick to the end of it and you will see exactly what i'm talking about all right let's go all right guys so please excuse the mess over here a little bit this is where i make my um candles and where i make my car air freshener this is the production area okay so you guys can see some of these containers what is inside these containers are my my uh, card stocks these have been pre um fragrant oh that smells really good what's that oh that's the gunpowder okay so you guys can see that that's the gunpowder right there okay one of my number one sellers okay and i have that in in this too see i have two containers of them because i sell this like crazy i sell them a lot and this one is my cognac and cigar some cognac and cigar this one really smells good too i never used to pre-made these ones i used to um, make them like per order but recently i've been selling a lot of them so i i have to do a a batch uh, mixture of fragrance in them so when i get order i just pull one out and i send to my customer okay but today 
what I have is, uh, let me see what's behind this one. Okay, behind this I have, oh, this is the new car smell. I've been selling this lately and this is becoming my number one seller, the new car smell, okay? So, but today, I'll be doing one of my number one sellers, okay? Look, as you, as you can see, it's almost empty. It was just how many days ago, about three days ago, that I filled this entire thing up, okay? I filled this entire thing up, and now I have only two left. So, the person who bought today's, um, today's um, order only ordered one, okay? So I'm going to pull one out, okay? And I have my plastic bag here, okay? So I'm just going to put it inside the plastic bag, okay? And now I'm going to take it to where I'm going to seal it with my heat sealer and then I'm going to put it in its packaging. All right, let's go. All right, guys. So what I need for my sealing of my plastic to seal this bag, I will need my sealer. This is my plastic sealer. Okay, I'm going to need that. And I'm also going to need my stapler to staple it to the packaging part. All right. So here we go. And this is quick. You can see it's already sealed. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get my packaging. So here's my packaging card already done for me. All right. This is my packaging card. So I'm going to package this. Okay. I'm gonna come to my stapler so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Right there. It's been stapled together, ready to go. All right, so now I have my shipping package. All right, I already put the label in at the back. See that? Put the label at the back already. So I'm going to put this in. Okay. All done. All right. That's it. Now, I always like to put do not bend. Okay. See my logo right there, and please do not bend. I always like to put it so the mailman knows not to bend this. It's a car air freshener. If you bend it, it's it's not good. All right. So I always put this so they don't bend this customer's package. So for that, it's all ready to go. All right. So that's how easy. That's how easy and simple this is. I have two of these ready to go. I'm going to wait for the other one to clear up so I can fulfill that order. All right. So now, as you guys can see, I only have one left in this in this um, jar. And due to the fact that I know that I sell these like twice or three times a day, every single day, <laughs> this is one of the ones people love the most, okay? Due to the fact that I sell this all the time, I have to keep making more. I have to keep putting more in this, okay? So I will have to show you guys how I sent mine, how I um, present them. So when someone buys, I just go, like you guys just saw me do, bring one out, put in the plastic bag, package them, seal them, and I send them to the customers. All the, this process alone takes me about three minutes even less than that because i was videoing that's why it looks as if it's it's a lot of time but usually once i get an order i just come over here open the jar grab one put in the bag seal it send immediately okay because it's so easy everything has been done i'm not here trying to sublimate i'm not here trying to put um, things together i'm 
so this is one of the cards that i used to do like sometimes i try to play around my own sublimation or heat transfer and look it doesn't come out professionally and sometimes if you have to do this all the time you might be wasting a lot of cards you might be wasting a lot of your inventory so sometimes some of them might work well sometimes they might not work well so every time someone orders you're crossing your fingers hoping that it comes out perfect and apart from that even if it comes out perfect and you want to add fragrance oil on this the problem might be that it will start running off the 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 ink might be running off the fragrance oil might stain the card as well okay so i don't have that issue with what i'm doing here as soon as i get my order i come to the jar open it grab one go seal them because i don't have to be here you know heat transferring um, instead of me pay, uh, making an order all right so that's one of the things i wanted to talk about but now let me show you guys exactly how i do this okay? all right guys so i bring a certain amount of my cards so here i have 15 of them okay i bring a certain amount of them these have been pre-made okay i have this a lot of them i'm running low on this one especially so i have to pre-order or reorder some of this okay but I, I bring this up see how i bring them all and i have to put them all in here okay gone are those days when i used to sell one every week or two every week and i would have to wait and come and send them individually but now that i sell them a lot i just come and i pack them all like this and i put them excuse me and i put them in the jar all right okay i'm gonna put them in the jar let me take this one out this one is already fragranced scented and ready to go it smells really good so i'm gonna put it aside all right and i'm gonna put these in here okay this guy can see i fit them in here already okay and there is space to put more but i'm not going to put any more the reason is because I, will, I need space to be able to shake and move the um, oil so it can get to the entire surface area of the individual cards i don't want to pack it up so i can have space okay guys so i'll show you how i add my fragrance to this all right guys i've gone ahead to measure my fragrance oil with a mixture of my dpg a carrier oil you can use any carrier oil of your choice but i prefer using the dpg because it has always worked for me and i didn't do a equal ratio on this particular fragrance some of my fragrance i do one to one ratio of my uh, fragrance oil to my dpg with this i'm doing a two to one ratio because this fragrance is not too strong it's not overpowering right but it it gives that perfect balance of um, of a fragrance in your car all right so i'm doing two to one so two parts of this uh, mahogany teak wood and one part of uh, the DPG okay I've already mixed this up and I still hold for two two minutes so this is my DPG okay I still already for two minutes all right so all I have to do with this all right I just pour it in okay see guys let me show you guys so you see what I'm doing I just pour it all over okay you might think oh that's a lot of fragrance oil but it's gonna soak the entire thing okay these cards these cards are meant to absorb fragrance oil they are meant to absorb them okay so within because you guys can see the the the, the mixture Okay, so all I have to do is just shake it and just roll it while I shake them. So within hours, it's going to soak everything in. Okay. Let me push this one in. Something like it's coming out. 
So this is why I don't fill it up, like I don't fill the entire jar with the cardstock because you don't want um, the situation whereby you can't really shake the, the jar and the uh, fragrance oil won't be able to saturate the cards. So that's why I don't put so much of it. But you guys can, excuse me, as you guys can see, now I have a little bit of oil. Let me show you guys right there. A little bit of oil. I used to have a lot, right? Because now the cards are absorbing this in real time. Okay? So I just keep shaking. You guys can see them, they're changing. Because you can see the colors, are, the fragrance are going in. You can see how they look right these are special cards these are not felt these are not polyester or the synthetic polyester when you use for um, sublimation these are not sublimation cards these are 100 percent cotton um, cardstock these are made for the professional companies the ones that you see all those other professional companies use these are the cards they use okay and you can see the ink is not running off is not um it's not running on the card there is no ink stain you can see the oil still man the, the oil still maintains its color right there is no different color of ink coming out or or anything else coming out from that because of the kind of material this um card stops were made out of okay so keep shaking here and now, all you do is just let it sit. All you do now is just let it sit. And as it sits, all together, the, the films, the uh, fragrance is going to saturate individual cards. And they're going to remain like that. Just like you see with this. You don't see any stain, you don't see any wetness. It's all inside the fabrics of the card. It's all inside the cotton of this card. And once you open this and put it in, in your customer, or your customer open this and put it in your car, they smell it, okay? So this is the, um, the way I make my fresheners and they are very easy, okay? So now I'm just gonna you guys can see there's hardly anything left there it's all soaking it in okay so i'm just gonna leave this here i should put this one back in since put this one back in All right, guys, so you have seen exactly how I make my car air fresheners. You've seen the advantage of um, what I do um, versus the ones like you might be doing right now. Some of you might be doing something like this. You know, you sublimate onto a card. Some of you might be sublimating onto polyester or synthetic um, cardstock. And you might be having issues like this with your transfer. See how it's not really um, clean or perfect? And you sell this to your customers. Some of you might have issues like this where it's transferred, but you can still see the um, peeling of the heat transfer paper that you used, okay? And some of you might have a perfect one, you know, um, Something like this, you might have a perfect one. This was my old one that I was doing when I started making car air fresheners. Okay, you can see my old logo, <laughs> it's funny, right? So this is something you guys probably might be doing and you sell it like that to your customers. Your customers might appreciate that. They might say, okay, that's cute, that's good, but it doesn't have that professional factor. It doesn't have that professional look of a car air freshener. So you just sell it to your family and friends and they probably buy them because they want to support you, which is good. But are they really enjoying that? Are they really seeing you as a business owner? Are they really seeing your product as a product that they want to spend 
five dollars ten dollars um to buy you know like the ones that you see in like in your stores in your local stores you know like the popular one out there that they sell for like you know two for uh, two dollars or two for one dollar you know those are machine made okay those are uh, uh factory made and they are very very low in in their cost of production so that's why they are uh, able to give you that amount to to buy you know two for for one dollar two for two dollars or something like that okay but if you are making a homemade car air freshener there's a lot of things that can go with that okay you your time the the amount of money you're willing to spend in buying the, the, the material or, or, or the inventory that you need not to talk of your fragrance oil and your heat transfer machine or your your heat press your heat um, heat transfer paper and all of those things will come into place and then you might be spending a lot and that's why you see people say, uh, sending um, customers something like this or um, pricing their 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 handmade product like this pricing it like you know twelve dollars and when the customer receive them they look at this and it doesn't look professional and sometimes when people um, sell stuff like this they sell it like let me see if I find something here they package their product and they put it in a plastic bag only just like this and they put it in a in their um, shipping box they put it like this and they send to their customer their customer open this and that's what they see and um, probably the name of the fragrance here and their business name there and their logo on top of it it's okay to do that if you're just starting but what if i can tell you a professional way to do this what if i can give you the blueprint the templates on how to make your product stand out like how I'm like how I make my something like this whereby you have everything ready to go just like that you don't have to you know print this yourself you don't have to print this yourself you don't have to go through the whole struggle of finding the perfect paper or transfer to make any of this you don't have to waste your time heat pressing on this you don't have to spend a lot of money in buying um, blank um, polyester felt or cardstock felt and then you have to do all the work yourself you don't have to do all of that what if I can give you the blueprints I can show you how you can make this done without spending all those time um, without wasting all those time okay so I have a program going right now on my uh, Facebook group by the way I do not have to do this I've, I've enjoyed doing this by myself because I know exactly um, what I'm doing right now I know exactly the manufacturer that I am I'm making this uh, my my product with so I have a lot of my cat stuff all right I like I showed you guys earlier on it's been made for me already everything has been done for me already all i have to do is add fragrance oil like you guys saw me and i sent to my customers like i said i showed you guys this two of these already i'm sending them out actually it's going to be free today i'm sending them out today all right everything has been done okay what if i if i told you that you can get your card you can get your card made for you right these are made for me already I don't have to send just this to my customers and charge them ten dollars it doesn't sound good right it doesn't sound like you know um, like you put a lot of thought in your product but if I'm sending something like this to my customer they know that okay this person put a lot of thought this is professionally looking okay then this which one is professionally looking the one in the in the in the packaging or the one just without packaging so that's what I'm telling you guys there are ways you can do this all right and you can choose your own style your own design of packaging like I have this right you can decide you want this all right you can decide this is the type you want okay you can decide this is the type you want all right or 
you can say, you know what? This is the type I want. Okay? So all this, <laughs> excuse me, they're falling everywhere. All these are something that you can use to make your product stand out. All these are the ways you can make your product stand out. You don't just want to uh, keep looking uh, card that you just sent to your customers like this. It will look professional, right? If you put it in something like this, right? It will look professional if you put it in something like that, right? To look professional if you put it in something you know that is uh, more appealing to the eyes all right so that's how you know i've been able to do mine and i'm offering this to you guys again i did not have to do this all right but i'm offering this to you guys so if you're interested in this let me know and by the way if you get your cardstock made if you get them made it, it it's going to come with your choice of packaging you design your own packaging you send to me and i send it to the manufacturer okay it's always it's also going to come with plastic bags all right and it's going to come with strings all right it's going to come with strings all right so what are you paying for let me repeat myself again if you haven't seen my other video that i went into full details of the program you can you, you can go to my uh, facebook or you can go to my youtube channel and you will see the detail that i explained about um, this program that i'm running okay i call it the car air freshener startup okay if you want to start your car air freshener this year this is the program you want to look into i don't think there is anybody doing this right now offering it to people because some people know the truth they know how this um, industry works they know exactly what they are not telling you but i'm telling you what i've learned and what is working for me i've been doing this since 2020 and my first month that i launched on amazon handmade i was able i told you guys this before i was able to to gain profit Okay, I was able to, to make what I spent in starting the business. I was able to make that in one month. And after that, up to um, October of 2020, till now, the rest is pure profit. And I told you guys the profit was what I used to launch my candle business. Okay, so guys, it is lucrative, you know, if you know the right thing to do. If you know the right avenue, it's very lucrative all right so i just wanted to re-emphasize again if you join the program that i'm doing all right guys it's not compulsory you join you can still do this thing you're doing you can still go ahead and use your heat press or your transfer paper and your pressing iron to make car air fresheners you can still do that i'm not saying you must join this program i'm doing okay don't have to but if you want to look professional, if you want to scale up, this is one of the ways you can do it. Again, all you have to do is buy one of, you know, the cardstock, not from me, all right? I've given you the exact example of how to do it. So you choose the thickness of the material you want for your cardstock. So right now it's 1.5 millimeter thickness and three millimeter thickness and it goes from 500 moq to a thousand moq it's 500 or a thousand moq i'm sorry so it can never be less than 500 because my manufacturer will not accept that it has to be 500 because that 500 i had to negotiate it down for you guys their normal minimum order quantity is set to 1000 but because i've been doing business with them for a long time he was able to bring it down and i told him that this this um thing i'm doing is for my facebook group and my youtube channel followers and subscribers so that's why i'm doing this and he, he allowed that to happen so far with getting orders and people already going in and they're taking advantage of this okay 
is it, this is a tax season and I know a lot of people are getting their tax return. You can do with your money whatever you want to do with it. Okay? But in spending your tax uh, return money, how about finding a way to multiply that money? It's your blowing it up on some sneakers and some bags or some clothes and stuff like that that you know will not give you any return all right guys this is just me trying to to lend a, a helping hand again i do not have to do this i can decide to dominate this area as much as i'm enjoying doing it but also i want to help the community out there i want to help people who are willing to you know step out this year and own a car air freshener business okay if you haven't subscribed to this channel please go ahead and subscribe and if you have any question please leave that in the comment section or better still join the facebook group i'll put the link in the description join the facebook group and ask your question there or you can even direct message me from the facebook uh, facebook group and i will answer your questions okay? again all you need is get one of the um, card stock either 1.5 ml or um, three millimeters okay either one of them the, the 1.5 uh, millimeters or the three millimeters and whatever you choose you can send me your logo or your design that you want on the card for example if you want um, any design see how this has like the gun kind of design you can have different kind of design you want you send that to me in ai format um, I'm, I'm not talking about in, uh, artificial intelligence i'm talking about adobe illustration in ai format svg or pdf i'll prefer the, the, the pdf or the svg but if you have ai format we can also use that and your logo and your logo that you want you know it's going to be for your for your card you can choose the kind of card that you want you can choose any of the design that you want uh, from the from the form that I have or you can make your own design and send to me then I'm going to put them in in the templates that I have and send to the manufacturer okay and all these things will be done for you guys done for you and once you receive your product and your packaging and your bags and your rope all you have to do when you get an order is just do what i just showed you guys you go send them up throw them in the bag put them in your packaging send them to your customer there will be no need anymore for heat pressing there will be no need anymore for um iron on there will be no need anymore for those mistakes because everything has been professionally done for you okay guys there is a form that I put in the description for you guys to download and look into it. That form will show you exactly how this program works, okay? And I have also a price list of this um, of, of this program. So with, with less than $400, you can start a car air freshener business. You don't need to buy an expensive heat press. You don't need to buy um, heat transfer papers or sublimating papers or sublimated ink none of that okay so with less than 400 you can start your own car air freshener business from your home okay so like i said if you get this 500 you pay for this alone guys you are paying for this alone so if you get this 500 of this it comes with 500 of this it comes with 500 of the ropes even more than that okay and also it comes with this 500 as well remember you're only paying for the card stock so that's the negotiation i was able to do for you guys that's the negotiation i was able to 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 do so that you guys can have this started all right when i started i had to buy 4,000 units but today you are buying 500 units so you're spending less than I spent to start. Don't let this go away because this might not last for long. I always um, said it that I cannot take a lot of people because I don't want to be overwhelmed with the others coming into me. Okay. So if you've not joined the list, make sure you do that as soon as possible because the list is growing every day. And I never know, you never know when I'm going to put a cap on it and say, okay, 
that's all these the people i can i can accommodate for now okay so if you are interested join the facebook group and download that form in the description read through it and when you finish reading through it and you see the, the price list you can choose the one you want to uh pick uh you, sorry you can choose the one you want to go for either the five the 500 um moq or the 1000 moq and also without 5500 and 1000 moq you can choose your thickness either 1.5 millimeter or 3.0 uh, 3 millimeter so you can choose from that okay guys until i come your way next time remain blessed and have a good day god bless bye bye